So I went to the farmer's market yesterday and I found some cauliflower that was pretty cheap. It was a, it was a dollar and I had to buy it. It needs to be used. So um, I've decided to make one of my favorite recipes, which is um, a roasted cauliflower salad that is seasoned with turmeric and fennel seeds and has almonds and other seeds like sunflower seeds it's just really delicious and um, this is what i always make when i have extra cauliflower and i don't know exactly what to do because this is um it's quite easy to make. It's a great thing to bring to a potluck. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to eat all of this, so <laughs> there won't be any issues there. So the first step is just to take your, your cauliflower and to break it up into small pieces as so. All right, so that's good enough. So to that, I'm going to add some uh, olive oil. And this will help the spices like turmeric to, to stick to it. All right. So in this, I have one tablespoon of turmeric, ground turmeric, and then one tablespoon of um, fennel seeds. So we are going to mix this well. We want all the, the cauliflower florets to have that nice golden tone to them. Sometimes this is a little bit easier to do by hand. Um, you don't want to use a wooden spoon, but don't feel like being too dirty today. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's a good spread to it. You can see the nice golden orange hue all throughout the cauliflower and then i'm going to add just some pepper to that and then some salt And I'm going to put this in the oven. Um, I have it set at 350 at the, at the moment. I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until it seems to be nicely roasted. So one of the things that this recipe calls for are nuts and seeds. And so in this bowl, I have already some almonds and some hemp seeds. You can certainly use, you know, other nuts and seeds as you have. Um, I tend to think that pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds work really well for this dish. So I'm going to now um, 
roast these almonds and nuts. Um, again, this is an, an optional step. Um, I definitely think that the nuts add a nice texture to the dish, but I like to roast them to bring out the, the flavors and the oils out of it. All right, so let's assemble everything. As you can see from uh, this dish, the cauliflower have, has roasted quite well. It has a very nice golden hue. I ended up leaving it in my oven. I want it a little bit more crisp, so I left it in at 350 for 30 minutes. Again, it's totally you know up to you of how crispy you want your, your cauliflower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this um, uh, cauliflower to this bowl and we're going to assemble the dish. So the dish has several different parts. I've already shown you two of them and that is uh, the cauliflower as well as uh, the nuts and the seeds which I have toasted in this cast iron skillet. Now, there's two more things that I'm going to add to this. One thing that I want to add is a bit of sweetness. And so that's going to be in the form of raisins or sultanas, whatever you have. Um, you know, this gives a, a nice uh, sweetness and really adds to the contrast of the textures that are in this dish. So I'm just adding a, a handful of raisins and I'm gonna mix this up first. And then um, we're gonna have a dressing. And so the recipe calls for lemon and if you have a lemon, certainly use it. I don't have a lemon and I have uh, lots of limes. So I'm gonna use a lime because I find that um, usually they're pretty interchangeable. And um, you know, this will be an experiment for me as well. As you can probably tell if you've watched my other, um, other videos, I really believe in being flexible when it comes to recipes. You know, recipes are not set in stone and you should use what you have available to you. Um, a lot of times you have things that are close enough so you don't need to go to the store to make that trip. And maybe you're gonna finally use that little piece of lemon or lime that's been sitting in your fridge for all these weeks instead of having to buy new produce. So, in, so what I've also done here in this bowl is I have added um, about four tablespoons of tahini. And to that tahini, let me make sure I'm not lying. Yes, I added three tablespoons of tahini to this bowl and I added just a bit of water to that um, just to kind of make it a little more smooth and a little bit easier to spread um, as a dressing throughout uh, the cauliflower. So this is the, the ingredient that really unites everything. And, you know, if you happen to have lemon, feel free to, um, you know, put some lemon juice, like a half of a lemon uh, juice in there. If you don't, I'm gonna try this, this lime. Um, see how that goes. If you don't have either of those, you know, really just using water would be fine. And then I'm sure if you taste the dish, if you like it, great. If not, there's probably dry spices that you could add to, to increase the flavor. But really, with all this turmeric and the fennel seeds, it's a really powerful dish. Um, that's where most of the flavor lies. All right, 
So, just gonna mix this up. And this is, you know, a really um, easy dish to make. It, it doesn't take too much effort. Sure, it's just assembling all these different bits and pieces together in this bowl, but it does impress people. Um, it's quite possible that they haven't had these flavors like this, especially when it comes to cauliflower. And um, so if you're looking for a dish to bring to a potluck or to some event, I highly recommend this dish. Alright, this is what it looks like. Let's give this a shot. There's a lot going on in this dish. If you think about texture, you got the seeds and the nuts as sort of the, the hardest things here. And then you have the cauliflower, which is, you know, quite softer than the seeds and nuts. And then underneath that, you have the raisins. So when you bite down, you're noticing kind of this melody of, of all these different textures. Then on the flavor side, you have kind of this, you know, you, you sense the turmeric and that's quite like a, a dry flavor, but then you have this sweetness of the raisins that really evens it out and actually brings in a new component and brings out a, some, some other like personality of the turmeric that you wouldn't otherwise have. So it's, a, it's an amazing melody of of ingredients and flavors that you know I really highly recommend you to try and um, as always I appreciate if you like this video and if you enjoy this content feel free to subscribe I really appreciate the support see you next time